All right, so today in this video, I'm going to create a real software for Windows and Mac OS completely using AI. And yes, you heard it correct. So, so far I've created multiple videos on the channel explaining how you can create web applications and Chrome extensions and all that using AI. But this time around, we're going to try something different and that is to create a electron powered software for Windows and Mac OS, which you can actually go ahead and build and you know, distribute as a software like a exe or let's say a pkg file that you can install on mac and windows now if that sounds interesting without wasting any further ado let's jump straight in all right so to create a desktop application for let's say windows or mac os we are actually going to use electron js and for starters electron js is a open source project maintained by open js foundation and it is a tech that you can use to build cross-platform apps with javascript html and css and yes, you heard that correct. And these are the exact tech that we use to create web applications as well. Now, Electron is a package that you can install in your React project and turn it into a desktop application. And some of the most popular tools that you use on everyday life, like including the VS Code editor, the Slack desktop application, and let's say the Figma desktop application, all of that is created using Electron. And that is the same thing that we are going to use today in this video. And if you want to learn more about Electron JS, you can head over to the first link in the description below or electronjs.org and read through the documentation and the website and you'll be able to find a lot of details and as you can see application installers app store distribution crash reporting native graphical user interface automatic software updates are all part of electron js and you can actually create softwares like this as you can see slack cloud visual studio code figma all of these softwares are actually created using electron js and to get started the first thing that i'll go do is to head over to bald.new and I'll go ahead and create a simple application in React first. And then later on, we'll use WinServe to convert it into a, let's say a macOS software or an Electron project basically. And now to keep the video short, I'll go ahead and try to build a simple application, let's say to-do application. So I'll go ahead and say, create a to-do website with modern design in React. And I can go ahead and hit enter. And as you can see, Bolt has started writing the code. So let's wait for it to complete. All right, so as you can see, Bolt has created the application and this right here is a simple to-do app that we created using Bolt in React. And I can use it, I guess, so to-do task one, add to-do task two, add. And I can mark them as completed. We have this green checkbox and also the text is tracked out and I should be able to delete that as well. And we also have a indicator or the progress, nice little design and all that. So basically this is what we are going to turn into a software so that you can install it on Mac OS and Windows. So the first thing that you gotta do is to click on this export button to the top and select the option that says download. And it will now go ahead and download that particular uh, Bolt project to your computer as a zip file. And next up, let's just go ahead and locate the same. And as you can see, we have downloaded that Bolt project right here and I'll double click on it to extract the same. And as you can see, these are all the content inside of that particular project. And the next thing that you gotta do is to open this project file or the folder that you just downloaded and open it up in WinSurf. All right, so this right here is WinSurf. And if you want to use WinSurf, you can just head over to the second link in the description below and download WinSurf and install it on your computer and then open it up. And for starters, WinSurf is like a AI code editor and IDE, like Cursor AI. And you have all the integrated AI features to assist you, you know, throughout your coding journey. And the next thing that I'll do is to open the project, uh, let's say the folder that we downloaded just now. And here I have opened that folder. And if I now go ahead, okay, before that, I actually need to install all the packages. So I can just go ahead and type npm install and hit enter. And now uh, WinSurf will go ahead and install all the node modules and we have all of them in here. And if I do npm run dev and hit enter, we should be able to access our Vite React project and let's wait. So the title says Vite plus React plus TypeScript. And here we have the exact same application that we saw in bold.new. So we can close it now. And this is the basic application. And this is what we're going to turn into a to-do app. Now, just for demonstration purpose, I'm creating a simple to-do app. But if you want to, you can go ahead and create a more complex one, create the full version and then convert it into Electron. And yeah, now that we have the application done and ready, next step, let's just go ahead and convert this into an Electron project and convert it as a, let's say, a desktop software for Mac OS and Windows. And if you open this SRC folder, you should be able to find all the code and everything else. So it is like a plain, simple uh, TypeScript file that we have in here and everything is pretty much similar. And the next thing that I'll do is to open Cascade from here and I'll go ahead and paste a prompt, something like this, convert this Vite React project into an Electron project. That's all I gotta do. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And now as you can see, WinSurf is writing all the code and all the changes that we'll have to make to 
convert this into an electron project so i'll wait till it is completed all right so pretty much everything is done and the first thing that i got to do is to replace the content inside the package.json file so all i got to do is to open the package.json we have it in here okay maybe i can make this window a bit bigger all right so we have a couple of these uh content already inside in here so i'll go ahead and delete all of that and press the insert button and the everything is inserted and if you look at it you can see that electron is an electron builder is actually added as a dev dependency and we also have a couple of script related to electron in here and next up what should i do okay i can um, the next thing that we got to do is to install electron dependencies so all i got to do is to copy this particular let's say code i'll copy it and now i can shut down the server and install okay install the same click on enter all right so the electron and electron builder package is now installed and next up i need to create a new directory called electron in the root of my project and create another file called main.js inside of it so i'll go ahead and create a new folder called let's say electron and next up create a new file called main.js inside of it so main.js and now i can go ahead and copy the content or maybe click on this insert button and winds of cascade will go ahead and populate the file with all the code so we have all the required codes in here and now as i further scroll down next the thing i got to do is to okay package.json is done okay now if you open package.json where is it uh, okay package.json we'll have this electron dev electron build and electron start scripts in here and as you can see we have it in here and we also need to update the weed.config.ts file to ensure compatibility so here we have the weed.config.ts so i'll go ahead and copy this from here delete all the content and replace it in here Maybe I can save this file. And the next thing that I gotta do is to modify your index.html to work with Electron. So all I gotta do is to copy this one from here, open the, where is it? Index.html file, delete all the content and paste the new content and save it as well. And now that's pretty much all you gotta do. And to run the project, all I gotta do is to run this particular prompt right here. So npm run Electron dev. So I can go ahead and say npm run Electron dev and hit enter and hopefully it works let's see all right cool so we have our electron project in here all right so it seems like we have a error uh it's not defined as the es module scope import js okay so seems like if we rename it to use the dot cjs file extension it should work okay let me just go ahead and try it shutting down the server okay i'm trying to uh, rename it to main.cjs and hopefully that works so let me just go ahead and run the same command again npm run electron dev okay so here we have the electron app and it says unable to find electron app at users cannot find the module project main.js please verify that the package.json has a valid main entry okay so let me just go ahead and fix that real quick so package.json so here it says electron slash main dot js so I'll, okay maybe i can remove and put it as main dot cjs all right mm, now let me try to run the project again and hopefully it works and there you have it we have our electron app running on our machine and now this right here is not exactly a browser it is a standalone app and as you can see we have the icon of our app running in here so this right here is the app see oops sorry full screen so this is the electron app your electron app so we need to do a lot more customizations and stuff like changing the name and all that stuff so basically i went ahead and created a simple to-do website in react and i went ahead and opened it up in windsurf and here i have already converted it into a electron project and then i can run it and now i have like a native mac os and windows application running and in this context i'm running it on my mac os so basically i created a mac os application wow so that's how simple it is. And next up, if you want to do any sort of customizations and stuff like that, you can actually go ahead and edit the app.tsx file, you know, make changes in here and the same will be reflected in there as well. For example, let me just go ahead and modify this page so I can show you what exactly I'm talking about. So I went ahead and customized the code a little bit so I can just go ahead and copy the same, maybe delete the content, put the updated code in here. So this right here is the updated app. This is how the design will look like for now. Let's say task one add yeah so we have this nice background translucent effect and you know gradient background and all that stuff so if i go ahead and let's say npm run electron dev i should be able to run the new app with the new interface and let's see 
okay here we have it look at that so basically this way you can go ahead and still keep on working on your electron project make all the changes that you want and this way you can actually go ahead and build whatever sort of application that you want and the next important thing that is left to do is to obviously create let's say dot exe package or the one that you could run on mac os and windows right so you need to create that distributable that you could share and for that all you gotta do is to click the third link in the description below to find more information about the same so let me quickly go ahead and open it up so this right here is the electron app packaging guide and if you scroll through you will be able to find that you can go ahead and let's say you know package your app using forge and you know you can share it as a exe or let's say uh, installable file for mac os and all that stuff so the first thing that you gotta do is to copy this particular prompt and i'll open winserve and again again showing you the preview this is the app and next up i'll go ahead and shut down the server and run this particular prompt right here and again let's wait so it is basically installing the electron forge cli package to our project so let's wait for it to be done all right that's done now heading back we need to run npx electron forge import i'll run the same as well hit enter okay so it is making some files making some changes so let's wait for it to be completed so there you have it it says we have attempted to convert your app to be in a format that electron forge understands thank you for using electron forge and now if i scroll down to create a distributable package all you gotta do is to run npm run make so i'll copy the command and paste the same in here and hit enter or maybe before that i might actually want to change the extension so i'll go ahead and put it as forge.config.cjs so that's one thing that you have to keep in mind or else you can go ahead and make all the changes in the uh, weed config file and package.json file and do it that way but for now i'll just keep it uh, i'll just go ahead and rename it to .cjs and run npm run make and hit enter and now this forge will go ahead and package it for arm64 on darwin that is m1 silicon on this mac right here and it will go ahead and create a new folder called as out and i should be able to find the installer or the actual file that i could use to install the application on my computer so let's wait and it says it's completed and artifacts available at downloads project out slash make and if i open this out folder and if i go to make i should be able to find the actual zip file containing the installer of my application so all i gotta do is to copy it and open it now so let me just go ahead and do that so i went ahead and opened the project out folder right here make and zip darwin arm and we have the v to react that particular file so i can double click on it to extract the same and here we have the wheat react electron app and let me double click to open it up all right so now there you have it your electron app and this is what it is like so let me just go ahead and add task one add task two add and i can mark it as completed just like that and also delete the same oh we have that nice animation as well let me try that again cool right so i basically went ahead and created a software like a real software for mac os entirely using ai so as you saw this is how simple it is to create a real software for windows or mac os using electron so the process and the flow is pretty much exactly the same as i show in the video all you gotta do is to create a react project in bolt or any other software as you please and you can just go ahead and open it up in cursor or windsurf and you can just convert it into an electron project package it and there you have your software ready and if you want to you can also totally skip the bolt part and start creating the electron project from scratch using windsurf and tools like cursor itself that's also not a problem at all and yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video so this is how simple it is to create let's say a software for mac os and windows and all the popular companies like cloud let's say slack and figma all of them actually uses electron to create the desktop application so this is a powerful and scalable platform to be honest so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one